Traditionally, rovers are operated from the Earth. With the lunar gateway being put in place around the Moon, there's the possibility of controlling them directly with much smaller time delay. Uh, and this opens up for uh, new possibilities for things that you simply cannot do or is much more difficult to do from the Earth. For our robots, we really focus on tail operation. But we go a step further, we use haptic controllers to move our robots, especially move robotics, robotic arms. So if you move our haptic device and the robot touches an obstacle, you indeed feel, feel the touch. And this allows the operator to do more fine-grained tasks that is not possible without haptic feedback. astronaut time is extremely valuable so you can send a rover to the surface you can let the ground team do all their planning uh, let the, them do all the longer traverses and you get the astronaut involved when it's necessary for maybe the more complex task or the things where he really uh, direct tail operation direct control of the robot is more helpful this is one of the first times we put out the robot in, in a really harsh environment here on Mount Etna. So it's moon-like, we have a complex scenario with the operation center in the background, the astronaut with time delay in the control center, and indeed a task that was not known to the scientists and to the astronaut beforehand. We really try to get as close as possible to real scenarios with surprises. It's certainly less dangerous to send a rover to the surface than to send an astronaut. Uh, it's also cheaper, um, it's also uh, possible to not take up so much of their time. If we master this, we are really confident that these technologies can be yeah, developed further to make it space great to indeed be part of the next moon mission. <laughs>